Now, I know you had something interesting you wanted to share with the people. What's going on on TikTok, Natika? On TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> on TikTok. Um, so TikTok is possibly facing a ban here in the United States because, uh, and this actually started in uh, during Trump's administration. Trump wanted to ban TikTok and um, that didn't happen. And then now the Biden administration wants to ban TikTok because um, TikTok is owned by ByteDance, which is a Chinese company. Mm -hmm. um, and the American government is worried that uh, people's privacy or like users are um, like their data might be shared and, and like there might be a violation of privacy. And because of that, they basically told TikTok, um, sell it to a US owner, sell it to, to like US based company, or you're gonna be banned in the US. Mm. And TikTok's already banned in other countries. I can't remember off the top of my head, but mm. this could be potentially devastating to people who have had their careers blow up on TikTok. TikTok content creators, yeah. So, yeah. No, I mean, I, I agree. You know, America is more like, listen, if anyone's going to invade America's privacy, it's going to be us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the government. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so they're, they're worried about being spied on. I have, like, uh, mixed feelings about it, right? Me too. Because I'm kind of like, yeah, you know, I, it, it seems like America and China are heading to war. Hopefully not. But it seems like they're just getting closer and closer to that. So, it doesn't seem like a good idea that they can be in everyone's devices. You know, it is one of the most popular apps right now. But also, I do find, I, well, I love the fact when content creators can use platforms to express mm -hmm. themselves. And I think there are a lot of, um, what would you call it, like hacks or, or things that people learn? Like, I know I'm constantly around people that have learned so much from TikTok. Like, hey, oh, yeah. I can do this. And I'll go to yeah. Little handy things. So I'm like, uh, you know, I, ho I hope they can just sell it, you know, to another company and it's not banned. But what, what, what's your mixed feelings about it? So my mixed feelings is that, um, I mean, I feel like you encompassed it so perfectly. Like, you know, in America, like <laughs> only we can invade people's <laughs> privacy um, because... There are other social media companies that are also have been under the the spotlight, you know, for pretty much the same thing, like mm -hmm. Facebook. Exactly. Uh, AKA Meta, you know, mm -hmm. like they they have been accused on multiple fronts. I mean, Mark Zuckerberg has had to testify before Congress. <laughs> A lot of times. Um, and I feel like every social media company has the keys to everyone's private data, you know, like. And, and things are very susceptible to being hacked. And um, uh, we're, we're living in a world where people are now, their careers are very much dependent on social media. And I, I'm concerned, and I know people can like, like at least the older generation will easily write off TikTok as like, oh, that's the app where like Gen Z and, and Gen Alpha yeah, kids, kids will, yeah. will just like make dances. But it's like, it's so much more than that. Um, and like you were saying that people have shared really useful information mm -hmm. on it. And like, I've definitely benefit benefited from like watching like whatever hacks or like, you know, there's, there's two TikTok accounts, actually probably more than one dedicated to like, oh my God, I was today years old when I discovered that I could do this or like, you know, yeah. things like that. And, um, I think that the American government has they they have an agenda like they want to have they, like they're concerned that you know we might be getting like the chinese government's like potentially spying on us and mm. that is a totally valid concern but i think it's also like an american business thing like they want to prioritize like american made social media companies i wouldn't be surprised if like facebook was behind all of this yeah because when tiktok surpassed I want to say surpassed, but like when TikTok became like really, really popular, mm -hmm. um, then all of a sudden Facebook came out with this handy dandy thing called Reels. Yeah. And then last year, actually for the past two years, they had been prioritizing content creators on Instagram to create Reels. Reels is and it's like so annoying because all we want to do is just share pictures, you know? Yeah. And now they changed the algorithm this year and they're like, no, 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 actually we, we realized that we, uh, we made a mistake. So now you can post your photo carousels and stuff. And like, this is all stuff that I have to yeah. keep up to date with. And you have to keep up to date with yeah. because we're, we're doing this podcast. We're promoting the podcast. We're doing our music stuff as well. So it just really sucks 
And I think this plays into a larger conversation about like our dependency on social media, how like whatever moves we make is dictated by the almighty algorithm. Algorithms, yeah. the secret algorithms, because they got the algorithms they tell you about, and then uh, a lot of secret algorithms. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think America's really worried about TikTok too because they're like, well, we know what we're doing with social media in your country, so <laughs> we yeah. don't want you to do that in ours, you know. Yeah. So, but I'm I'm curious in the comment section too. Let us know how you feel about a TikTok ban. Do you feel like it's necessary? China has too much power with it. Or do you feel like we should keep it no matter what because it's helpful? So let us know in the comment section. I'm really curious. Don't cry when I come around. I want to see you smile. I want to see you smile. Don't cry when I come around. I want to see you smile.